It is my greatest wish that you are all doing good today. Surviving each day is a blessing, and we make it possible by applying our artistic skills in everything that we do. I welcome you all to this video about transcreation. In essence, applying this concept to the art of living, the words trans, meaning across or beyond, and creation, which means the act of making, producing, or inventing. Transcreation is understood as a way of creating across the ordinary to become the best version of ourselves. We transcreate our experiences in order to find the meaning of our existence. In the art world, transcreation is a fulfilling job. Transcreators are the brains behind the best commercials or programs you see on TV or hear on the radio. In this lesson, you will learn the basics of transcreation. It is possible that your interest in this field will grow. These are the intended learning outcomes. At the end of this module, you should be able to define translation, localization, content creation and recreation, and transcreation. Translation, localization, content creation and recreation are processes involved in transcreation. Differentiate the process of content creation in translation, localization, and transcreation. And explain the relevance of acquiring transcreation skills as an application of art concepts. We'll go to this part of attaining our objectives. Attaining outcome 1. Define translation, localization, content creation, and transcreation. Translation comes from the Latin word translation, which means or which has these two words, trans, meaning across, and latos, or the ferry, which is past participle, is latos which means to carry or to bring. Thus, translation is carrying across or bringing across of a word or a text from one language to another. How to translate? If you know the word, you can translate it directly. But you can also do translation by referring to the dictionaries. Or hiring language experts or using translation machines. But in using translation machines, we should be very careful. Sometimes the machine will have inaccurate translations. You, you need to prop the proper attention using machine translators. Sometimes again, machine translators will give in accurate translations. Here's an example of a funny machine translation in Cebuano Bisaya. This is taken from the song Bul Anon. Kung ikaw inday mangitag paman unun, siguro abaya gayod ang Bul Anon. It is machine translated and a funny translation in English. If you are looking for a bridegroom, make sure the ball is in place. It's funny because it is machine translated and again, it's not a guarantee that it's always accurate. Localization is a more comprehensive process of that translation because it addresses cultural and non-textual components as well as linguistic issues when adapting a product or service for another country or locale. Where does localization usually happen? It could be anywhere. Commercials, TV shows and programs, music, etc. 
Africa commercials which have English language or which use English language and it is localized or they are localized by using local language like Filipino or Tagalog for Luzon and Cebuano or Central Visayas and maybe Waray in summer. Example of localization of Philippine TV is very common the localization of Korean novellas and of commercials and others. In Tagalizing, the conversations are translated not literally but are based on how the words are used in a specific culture or community. In localizing a word, translation goes beyond the literal meaning since it looks into how the word is used in a particular place or region. For example, the word langga, when localized in Cebuano, langga in Filipino, which means an ant. Localizing it in Cebuano, it already means bird or ebon. Content creation for original concepts, original content, and recreation for innovating or improving existing content or concept. The process of identifying a new or an adopted topic you want to write about, deciding which form you want to, the content to take, formalizing your strategy, and then actually producing it. Examples of the mediums of content creation, blog, you have your own website, vlog, YouTube, commercial, TV show, movie, and others. Transcreation. This is now involving the processes of translation, creation and recreation, and localization. It makes the artwork more culturally appropriate and for a specific target market. Transcreation on TV. Pinoy remake of Korean novellas. Well, transcreations takes place by replacing Korean actors with Pinoy actors and adding Filipino themes and concepts in the story. Another example is the Disney animated film Moana. The title was changed to Vayana when it is shown in Europe because Mumana is a registered trademark name in Spain and in other European countries. Moana means ocean and Vayana means water, making the sense ultimately the same. Another transcreation is this one from Puma. It was considered as one of the most controversial in history. It was a bad transcreation for the people of the United Arab Emirates. Although there was no intention to upset the people of this country, they felt insulted as a national flag represents a country and what it stands for. Putting it in a shoes or anything that is worn on the feet is highly disrespectful. It gives a lesson to transcreators to always prioritize cultural sensitivity in their works. Transcreation in commercials. Coca-Cola sets the standards in making brands more relevant to audiences around the world. Coke used local actors in its ads and even created local names in its battles. 
When you go to Vietnam, there's a locally named Coke there, using, of course, the Vietnamese words in the camps or battles. Elements of trans creation. Concept. This is an abstract idea or general notion that occurs in the mind, in speech, or in thought. So, this is the basis for your design, for your theme, for your story idea, and for the storyline of your artwork. Graphic is actually the visual representation of the concept of the whole idea or a projection of visual communications which intended to transmit specific messages to social groups with specific objectives. Language, a system of communication used by a particular country or community. Language could be written, verbal, or nonverbal. For the turnaround time, it's the amount of time taken to complete the process of or fulfill a request. So, it is the total time allotted to conceive the concept or to make the concept, starting it and finishing the project as a whole. Purpose, this is the reason for doing something, for allowing something to happen. So it's the purpose of the artwork or of the transcreated project. What is it for and who is it for? Differentiating the process of creating a content or recreating content with translation, localization, and transcreation. You see here, there is really a difference. Now, say for example, for concept, the content and meaning stays the same in translation because it's directly translating the word. It's directly providing the equivalent word in another language. In localization, concept uh, will have the meaning state and then the content is adapted for local convention. For transcreation, the entire content is adapted and created for local audience. So translation and localization have been fused together to resolve the transpiration. For the graphic, in translation, there is quite minimal changes. Some designs and typesetting works may be required for text expansion. For localization, images are adapted to meet local expectations and requirements. And for transcreation, images are adapted to meet local expectation, adhering requirements, and showing cultural coherence. In this aspect, there is always the consideration of cultural sensitivity. For the element language or language element, translation, the direct translation remains faithful to the source. For localization, Meaning is translated to make the language natural and culturally appropriate to the audience. And for transcreation, a local language is considered, but the thought is global. A language is specifically created for local audience, made sure to be containing cultural sensitivity. For the turn around time or tent, in translation, it may be slow when manually translated, but quick with machine translation on automated workflows are used. But again, using machine translator, you should be very careful. 
In localization, time scales may be extended to allow for careful adaptation because you are going to know how the words are used in the region or in the place. In translation, the tap is slow but sure as the message is to be carefully adapted by the linguist and rigorously checked by a local expert. Make sure that no word has been wrongly used. And lastly, for the purpose, it is best intended for creating general documents, manuals, contracts, and other legal papers in translation. In localization, the contents are tailor fitted for websites, videos, e learning materials, software. And for translation, there is one aspect that separates us from the first two processes because it is made sure that um, you have to put a heart on slogans, advertising campaigns, e commerce projects, retail scripts, and other projects. These are the different types of translation. Text to movement. The steps or movements give written or spoken words more concrete meaning and explanation. The example of this is putting animation to text. Music to text. This is an effective way of putting meaning into a particular song or music. And actually, you can use a text book. Movement to music. Sounds are created using movements. Movement to text. Written or spoken words are used to fully describe the story behind movements. Text to music. And music are used to give life to the text or words. Music text composition generator can be used. It is an application or it is a machine. Music to movement. Movements or dances interpret the story of a song or sound. Now, the uh, learning outcome number three explain the relevance of acquired translation skills and application of our concept. What is the relevance of acquiring translation skills? Developing transcription skills will open the door of opportunities in the field of content creations and recreation for the world's strong brands. In our life, transcription skills will enable us to learn from our life experiences, an opportunity to create a better version of ourselves. We need to transcribe the way we relate to ourselves with others. This way, we will fully understand, appreciate, and respect each other's differences. In doing transcreation, consider these three things. Language, culture, and emotion. And you will never go wrong. Because words might be used differently or are used differently in different cultures, in different regions. There has to be an emotion to create perfect connection between the project and the audience. And of course, culture. Because whatever we do, the transcreation projects or the transcreation artworks we too are intended for the people, for a particular culture. To be updated of coming videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much and I hope you learned something from this video.